I rise in support of H.R. 7535, the Quantum Computing Cybersecurity Preparedness Act. Today, the, per the processes we use to encrypt data are incredibly reliable and can keep sensitive data secure from unauthorized users during storage or transmission. But tomorrow, that may no longer be the case. Researchers around the world are accelerating advances toward quantum computing, which refers to the application of quantum physics to computers. This will allow the computers of tomorrow to perform calculations many magnitudes faster and more powerfully than they do today. While quantum computers have the potential to provide considerable, considerable benefits to society through unimaginable innovation, they could also equip our adversaries with the ability to break the best encryptions available today. Capabilities of this magnitude are estimated to be a decade or more away, but China and other adversaries are expected to begin stealing sensitive encrypted data much sooner with the intent of unlocking it when they have the capability to do so. It is essential that the federal government prepare for this inevitability now, while we still have time to protect data that is critical to our national and economic security. The process of migrating all federal IT systems to post-quantum crypt cryptography will be complex and costly, but putting the right steps in place now will help us stay at the forefront of this for frontier. I want to applaud Representative Rokana, as well as Representative Nancy Mace and Jerry Conley for, inducing, for introducing this thoughtful bipartisan bill to establish this process. Within a year of enactment, the bill would require the Office of Management and Budget to submit a report to Congress containing a strategy for addressing the risk opposed by quantum computing. The funding needed to secure federal information technology systems from quantum computing threats and a review of related coordination efforts. This will allow time for assessment of the strategy before the National Institute of Standards and Technology issues its post-quantum cryptographic standards, which are expected in 2024. OMB would then be required to prioritize and designate federal IT systems for migration to post-quantum cryptography using those standards and to submit an annual report to Congress on progress towards transitioning federal agencies to the new standards. The bill has been carefully aligned with a national security memorandum released by the Biden-Harris administration in May, which made important strides to advance U.S. leadership in quantum computing by strengthening collaboration and partnerships with private sector leaders, securing critical capabilities, and making strategic investments. I am grateful to Representative Rokana for leading on this important issue and setting an ambitious but achievable framework to both maximize the benefits and minimize the threats of quantum computing for the U.S. I urge support for this bill, and I reserve the balance of my time.